Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly say before the video that I was not able to review this footage before uploading it. So hopefully everything's okay, I'm not sure. I know that I did record this uh, on the day that my brother got home from school early, like they had a dismissal or whatever for bad weather. So I know there's a bit of background noise at some point. I don't think it's too bad, hopefully not. Uh, so hopefully everything's okay, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hello and welcome to another uncut video. Today, as if it isn't obvious, we're here on White Rhyme Ridge. We've got a bull moose here and another one actually to our right. So we've got the 300 as well as the 9.3. And unfortunately, that moose just walked behind the rock. This one's a lot smaller, so actually there's another one there. 140 to 180. He's a good one as well. Guess we'll take the far one and then the close one because the other one's not really in sight right now. I don't know if we got a good hit there. Okay, there's that one. That'll take him down pretty quick. And that one's about to charge us. He's down. That one's down there. So we just gotta find the one that we shot up in there somewhere. Well, that's a pretty good start. Three bull moose potentially down, depending on where we hit that first one. So, I wanted to make this uncut video because I have a couple of things to talk about. Not as many as normal, and like as I always say, these are the videos that I talk about. That kind of stuff. But yeah, I wanted to talk about a few things, and then I'm just going to talk about whatever comes to my mind, or just the game, the hunt itself, whatever. The first thing is that I want to do like a Q&A video. What I'll probably do is like answer questions in an uncut video, more than likely just sitting in a tree stand or something, uh, so I'm not too distracted. But yeah, I kind of wanted to do that. So if you guys have any questions at all, anything at all, uh, leave them in the comments, and I'll pick out the best ones uh, that I can fit into an uncut video, and I will answer them. There's another bull moose. He doesn't look spooked. See if I can get him to come over that hill. But yeah, I'd love to do that. I think you guys probably have some questions you'd like to know things about me that I've never said before. Is that our other bull moose? Is he down as well? Very nice. So we could potentially get four bull moose down here in the beginning of the video. If this guy will step out. We're just gonna stay low and see what he's gonna do. He might give us a shot in just a second. I'm not super high level with this 9.3, so I probably would wanna stay prone, if at all possible. Let's give him another call. They lose interest in the calls so fast, I like to just keep calling, especially when there's a bigger one coming in. Uh, you guys saw in Himmeldahl, I had a couple of nice ones, and I think two of the three started to walk away from my call because I didn't keep calling. So I find it's the best to just call every minute. I think that's what it is, about a minute uh, that they lose interest. So even more frequently than that, it doesn't spook them. Uh, but it can get annoying, I guess. Alright, if he doesn't want to come to us, we'll go to him. Excuse me. We'll see if... Uh, I guess he's not coming to the call. Maybe he did hear our shots. I thought maybe uh, he could have been out of render considering where he was standing. He's just perfectly behind there. I can see him now. He doesn't know we're here. Alright. That was not the hard shot I was looking for. Probably not lungs either. That should have been. Somewhere up here was our dead moose. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what's going on here. 
I think I did notice this morning I felt like I was getting a little bit sick. Hopefully that's not the case. Because that's never fun, but... Possibly why. There's a cow moose, but I want to make sure we got this guy. That's intestine blood. Yeah, he's down. Alright, so assuming we can actually find where that other moose was down, because we haven't claimed him yet. We should have four bull moose here in the first, like, five minutes. Not a bad start. I'll show you where I spawn, because normally this is not where I start the hunts. Right here by all this little bit of water. Tends to be a good spot, so... If you want to put a tent there, if you have a tent you want to set up, that's a decent spot to put it. I mean, we just saw six or seven moose. There was... If that was a different cow, there were two cows and four bulls, I think. So, pretty good. I heard a Sitka deer uh, doe, which I was going for first because I thought we probably won't see any Sitka deer on the rest of this hunt because I'm going to head north. And I don't think we'll get far enough north uh, to uh, get into Sitka deer territory again because they are, like, way far north, too, but... Then I heard the bull moose, and I would rather a bull moose over a Sitka deer doe, so. Glad that I went up here, because it turns out there were four of them that I would have spooked. And I did see this moose was down up here. There he is. So I'm glad that's what we ended up doing, too, taking the far one and then actually got both close ones. So that worked out pretty much as as well as it could have so we'll pick him up and then get going on our path that I want to go kind of to the north this guy might have been the biggest one I didn't pay close attention to the scores of the other ones I thought it was around like 140 maybe was the biggest one 145 this guy might be a 150 156 not bad, we actually had a left lung liver shot. Alright. Check where we're at. Yeah, we want to go... that way. So we will do that. Also, I did uh, mention this in the last video, the Let's Go Hunting on Timberville Trails, but I'll mention it again in case you missed it. I'm back to doing two videos a week. Uh, school has started up again, so... I don't want to be... Uh, rushing through things to get videos done so back to the Thursday and Saturday 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time upload schedule but as I said in the other video I definitely want to do three videos a week again possibly in the summer because I really enjoyed it oh got a bison and you guys seem to enjoy it as well uh, the views and everything on those videos uh, were especially high compared to like the history of the channel so first off, thank you guys for that, and if you do want to see three videos a week again in the future, uh, let me know, because as I said, I'd like to do it, but if you guys think that's too much, uh, and like too similar content maybe, that would be fine as well. I can continue with the two videos a week, trying to keep them diverse. Looks like this is just a lone female bison, a pretty decent one though, 50 to 100. Uh, we're going to go 9.3 again. I wanted to use the 300, but I definitely don't want to have to track uh, for any longer than we have to. It's a weird angle. Okay, she's going to trot to us, so we'll let her get close. I'm going to get up on this hill where I can get an easier sight. I just saw another one out there in the distance. spot it quickly this one's getting close about the same size female should have been a good hit we'll put a follow-up shot in just in case although not a good one I think she was just about to tip over as I took that third shot but we brought extra ammo for a reason definitely want to start using the 300. I've got 12 shots left only for the 9.3 and you never know uh, what you're going to run into. 
uh, on this map, especially since the uh, big animals don't tend to care as much. You can kind of run around, which I say this a lot. I bow hunt a good amount, and I usually don't get bored with it, but any time that I don't feel like bow hunting, uh, doing something like this is always a good way to switch it up. And that's one of the reasons that this game can be so fun, because you can, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, you can make it your own hunt. You can do like pretty much any possibility. You can uh, you know, dress up in the... Uh, what's that stuff called? Trapper outfit. And hunt with the longbow and the cap lock. Or you can go completely modern. You can run around on this map. Or like spot and stock bighorn sheep and ibex. So that's... Someone asked me in the comments uh, recently how I never get bored or something like that. And that's why, because you can switch it up and you can do so many different things with the game. Uh, and, of course, I still, uh, after six years, say it's the best hunting game out there. We've got two bison out here. Small male and a bigger female. Let's see about going 300 for these. Oh, there's another one there. Let's see what it is. small female but yeah as you can see I can just kind of run around there's a whole group of like five here actually and I can get close I can kind of set up a better shot so it's completely different from like crouching proning calling animals in so yeah I don't want to take this one to our left it's pretty small we might get charged by it though should be okay all right so which one of these was that bigger female I don't think it was this one if I can spot it that's one of the bigger females but it's not the one I was looking at I'm just gonna see if one of them will charge me or whatever happens here yep we're getting charged That was pretty cool. <laughs> That's probably a neck bone shot. I think that was low for brain. That was a heart shot. Right through the skull. Nice. 103 female, not bad. I entered the uh, Lucky Luke Bison competition. It's the highest average of your uh, top three. So if any of these are high scoring males that I didn't notice, we'll go after them. Actually, we might just follow them anyway. They're kind of going into that corner. Uh, as you can see, let me get my binoculars up in case you can't. This kind of dips down right here. And they're probably going to funnel their way into that. That bison looked awfully dark. I thought he was melanistic at first. 90 to 140 male, though. So I think we'll scurry on up that way for him. And go 300 again, maybe. I haven't used this rifle much in videos. It was like my only hunting weapon for the longest time after I got my membership. I shot everything with it from the biggest game to as small as you could get. I think roe deer and coyotes. I was just hunting with a 300. And I, I have about 500 kills with it, so I'm pretty high skill level. Uh, but I just got my 1,000 kills with the 7mm bullpup. So I thought I'd switch it up and stop carrying that. So I've been carrying this with me. All right. <laughs> of course, as soon as we get to where I want to shoot, he's going to turn around. Let's see if he'll turn broadside for us. Looks like not, so we'll go broadside uh, from him. I think we're going to have to take a standing shot, but we should be able to get lungs. Such a classic sound. This 300. Did that bison really not even spook from that? Oh, now she did. Or possibly he did. Yep, it's just a small male. Anyway, the rest of those seem to be relatively small, so we'll probably leave them alone and continue uh, after we find this bison. 
see what kind of blood we have. Looks like lungs. It's kind of like in a weird spot. Yeah, that's lung blood. I feel like I'm going slow, but my frame rate's solid, so I don't know. Maybe it's just the terrain or whatever. Also, I did switch from uh, Cher to Bandicam. If you missed that, I said that. It's a Hemmelball video. It might have been the Buffs and Bulls Hemmelball video. And everything so far has been absolutely flawless. I'm glad that I did it. But it may have been... I was thinking, because I think the way Share worked was specifically from the graphics card or something like that. And I switched processors, so I wonder if that had something to do with it. I don't know. Looks like a good bison, though. Let's see what we got. 112? I think that's trophy shot worthy. Might be the best animal we killed this hunt, so... We'll take a quick picture. Unfortunately, he died on this hill, and he doesn't want to... His feet are, like, getting caught under him. Okay. We'll not do that, then. Lift his head up. Whoa. Looks like he's roaring at us. <laughs> See if I can... Yeah. That'll work. Looks kind of funny. Alright, there is a cow moose down there. And I don't see anything else we can see out the render, so why not just take the shot? I'm let my, uh, my breath regain, though, because she stopped. I don't know if we can get a heart shot from here. Apparently not. I tried to stay high in case we missed it. Okay, we definitely got lungs because she's down. That's kind of cool. I don't know that I've shot anything from up here, but you can see the entire valley uh, out to render, I believe. Oh yeah, easily. Easily out to render. That was really cool, just spotting her like out by herself. Apparently a bison went down this way. He got fleeing tracks. So it looks like we're roughly halfway in. I want to go to about 30 minutes as always. I wonder where that bison was. It may have been over in that corner or something, because I didn't see it. It's not a massive weight, but it's decent. And I just got weight on uh, bison tracks, so I don't know exactly what I'm looking for yet. Or what a... I mean, I know what a pretty much good estimate is, because I know what their weight can go up to, but I don't know what my track estimate would say. Because uh, I haven't tracked, like, a max weight bison or anything. I don't know how many kills we have now. At least seven... Maybe eight, something like that. We're doing pretty good. I think eight. At least three bison. This is the fifth moose, I think. And we had a double lung shot. As I said, I stayed up high. I didn't want the shot to end up going below the heart. And it looks like we went above the heart, but that's fine. It took her down. Better than having to track her for five minutes and waste part of the video. Guess that bison's not over in there either. I'm gonna take a second. Yeah, we're still going pretty much where I want to. Got more tracks here. Cow moose. Another cow moose. So we might run into more of them. <laughs> or just the cow moose that we heard. I see both of them actually. Well, we'll try to get both of them. We're going to go ahead and run till we can get a solid prone shot. And then we'll go for it. So we got a pretty good spawn. There's a good amount of animals here. And definitely uh, going at that tent worked out. Because I tend to spawn uh, at a different tent where there's animals right away. But then not many after that, it seems. Be nice, we can get on this rock. Uh, so that was... a definitely a good switch. Actually, we'll take the far one first, because we'll have... wrong gun. We'll have more time to get the close one as it runs away. She's kind of stuck, though. See if she'll stop doing that. I think she did... Oh, no, she was just going behind that tree. This close one's just standing still. 
Okay, that one isn't glitching up there anymore. And she stopped. So we'll take our shot here. Should have been double lung. And this one. Okay, the first one just went down, and that was a pretty good hit on the second one. I don't even see her running. She must have gone down as well. Oh, yeah. There she is. Cool. All right. Two more moose down. I'm liking the 300. I was kind of... I was kind of worried about using it because I was wondering if it would be able to take down uh, the moose and bison fast enough, but clearly it's doing its job because uh, I just haven't used it in such a long time. I couldn't remember uh, what it was really capable of. I guess it is kind of like the rifle a lot of people tend to use for big game. All right, so here is cow moose number two technically, but... I was going to say one, and there's a bison over there towards where we have to pick up the other one, so we'll get that as well, hopefully. Double lung shot. I think that was the one on the run. Yeah, because this one was the one we shot standing still. So, I think that was double lung as well. And then that bison is right there over the ridge. Double lung at 129 meters. Let's see what we're looking for. We're looking at, rather, at this guy. Solid male. Go 300 again. Because we've used the 9.3 in a couple of uncut videos recently. That's a pretty good angle, actually. That hit kind of high. I don't know if that was me or not. I don't know if it was lungs either. That should be enough to take him down. Yep, he's down. I was just getting ready to put up a third shot. But he's down, so we're at like 11 kills now. Doing really good. Definitely glad about that. I did want to mention as well, because we got a good distance to run here. Uh, I've still been hunting for flintlock season. I don't think I've seen a deer while hunting they've been laying very low well yeah i haven't seen one while hunting and i saw like nine yesterday driving to school uh so go figure but uh yeah i think i've got from the time this goes up three days and from the time i'm recording it like four or five so i guess five so yeah still still trying to fill that last doe tag but haven't been fortunate enough to do so yet I know a couple of you guys have mentioned like your uh, hardest for the season if you haven't yet let me know as I said uh, in other videos I really like to uh, read about other people's success because it can be a really good like driving factor to uh, continue and like hunt out in this like 10 degree weather that we've been having lately that'd be 10 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you on the Celsius scale by the way us Americans have to do things differently, apparently. <laughs> oh, that was a body shot on our first shot. It's a good thing we had the follow-up uh, with the right lung. 111. Not bad. Okay. Go up that way. Did you guys see that, like, black screen flash after I put the map down? I don't know if that was just the map going away or if there was a slight flash after. Uh, I'm not sure... Actually, we're going to go ahead and put new ammo in both of these, just in case we have to take some uh, quick shots in succession or something like that. We'll have plenty of ammo to do so. I think I just said ammo. Ammo. Speech not on point. One of the reasons I like this map is because you can see so far from, like, the ridges and stuff. And, of course, like, the big game bison and moose, it's kind of, like, something very different from other maps.
should be getting up here pretty soon to uh, where we're past where we shot at the cow moose and then uh, we should be hopefully seeing more animals. But yeah, having a good hunt. Definitely for the amount of time. I think we're... Where do we start? Around 20 minutes in? 25? Yeah, 25 minutes in. So we've got about 5 minutes, I think. Maybe a bit longer. Uh, but yeah. In that amount of time to get, I believe, 11 kills, that's pretty good. And hopefully one or two more here. Uh, before the end of the video. Oh, I should mention as well, uh, the last thing I wanted to say was about uh, the, the Hunter Trailer contest, I think they called it. Something like that. Uh, there's a contest running, I believe it's uh, through the forums that you have to enter. Uh, you can create a trailer for the game. Uh, they have the rules posted on the forums. If I can remember, I'll put that link in the description. Uh, if not, just comment and let me know. I'll do that. Got a bison around here, possibly. There it is. Uh, but yeah, I kind of want to do that. I don't know if I'm going to have the time with school starting back and everything. But if you guys didn't know, I wanted to tell you uh, that that is going on. Let's take a standing up shot. It's a pretty good quartering away angle. <laughs> I think we got shot at. We swayed kinda to the right. Put a follow up. Down he goes. I think that was a small male, actually. I didn't pay attention to whether it was male or female, but we'll check it out. So, should be at 12 kills. That was the last thing I wanted to say, so... Actually, it worked out pretty good. Things were spaced out so much because of all the animals. Which is the way I like it to happen, but normally uh, the way it goes in these uncut videos, there's a couple of like bursts of a few animals and then nothing for five, ten minutes, something like that. So yeah, I got a couple of minutes. I think we'll try to get one more kill. We could end it here, but we'll try to get one more because this is the first uncut video in a while. That was the other reason I wanted to do one. We haven't done one for close to a month, so it's always good to get to talk to you guys. 57 scoring male. I almost did forget to check, too. I was going to say that we'll run up here and forget to look, but... Almost forgot to check. Alright. see if we can find ourselves one more animal. Before this hunt's over. We had a couple of decent bull moose. The uh, four total. I don't think we saw a bull after that. And I think four bison over 100. So, pretty solid. I don't know how many total bison. We've killed a lot now. And then a couple of cow moose as well. So over against like this big mountain, you can see a lot of animals because, I mean, they can't go over it. Uh, so they tend to, if they're coming this way, kind of just end up uh, along like the foothills basically of it down in here, kind of where I am, and further to the right. What we might do here, uh, in another, like, 30 seconds or a minute if we don't see anything, is just fast travel to the next tent. It's not that far away. Uh, and there does tend to be animals over there. I think we'll probably do that. I want to get up uh, to this rise in front of us where we can see down over and if there's nothing there uh, then we will fast travel just in hopes of getting that one more kill usually even when I spawn there there's a moose or bison within 200 meters so hopefully that's the case if we fast travel often they are on this side and we may have spooked them uh, even towards the tent which uh, wouldn't hurt so let's see if there is anything over here. No, we're not quite as far as I thought we were. We have to get a bit further first. Give one more moose call. See if we can get a response.
This goes for a lot longer than I thought it would. Still can't quite see where I wanted to be able to. Alright. We'll fast travel. See if we have anything here. Nothing straight away. Do a little running around. We might go over the 30 minutes that I want to go for, but that's alright. Hopefully we can find ourselves one more animal. Over in here tends to be good for uh, both moose and bison, so we'll go this way. We'll probably use the 9.3 just because it's got a bit more power behind it, I think. I'm actually not sure about that, but I believe it does. It's a very big round uh, coming out of that gun, so a lot of knockdown power. Yeah, I guess we just got like a enough time in the hunt uh, that the animals probably have moved from here. We'll keep calling. <coughs> Something will show up in the next couple of minutes most likely. I think we're at 31, 32 minutes. Uh, so if we don't get something in the next two or three, uh, we'll just have to cut it, it there, because otherwise my horrible internet will take it till next week to upload. But hopefully that's not a concern. Hopefully we can get something and end it out. Got a track here. Hopefully it's fresh. Uh, reasonably fresh, but it's a cow moose. Uh, and there's no direction because it was just dropping, so... Let's keep going. It was probably going like perpendicular to us. It's hard to say which direction, and again, not much time, so I'd rather not waste it on that. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, and I forgot to uh, even write it down because that's what I've been going off of what I wrote down. I, uh,. I had like four or five videos that I didn't answer the comments on uh, all in a row because uh, just like the school come back and New Year's and everything happening uh, it wasn't uh, very convenient at any point to sit down and answer comments but I did answer all those yesterday I spent like an hour uh, I had a class cancelled uh, go figure on the first day of classes one of my classes was cancelled uh, for the day so I spent most of that time and then a little bit afterwards uh, to respond to all those so if you had any response you were specifically waiting for on one of those videos I think I got to all of them hopefully uh, so I did answer all those if you were waiting on something okay we got a cow moose at least it is something could be a bull down there with her I don't think bulls and cows travel in groups on this map I could be wrong I've definitely seen multiple cows together, but I can't say for sure if I've seen two bulls together. I don't want to jump the gun. I thought I saw like a branch in front of her, but she almost did look piebald. And that would be crazy. Nah, she is normal. So we'll get down here. Oh, we spooked her. I didn't think she'd run. Sorry, you really couldn't see that, but that should have been an okay hit. Hopefully it'll take her down. I'm surprised she spooked. Must have just been kind of like that perfect uh, situation. thought I just saw her over in there. Hopefully not. I hope she's down, but... 
mark that just in case she was somewhere down by these trees. There's a cow moose there. We'll take her out. Just since we're here. She's down. I want to check the blood here. If it's not good, I'll find that other cow later. Uh, after the video, and we'll just go get the one that we just uh, dropped up there. Okay, it should be this one, one of these tracks. Here is fleeing. It's another. That's uh, another female. Still fleeing. Maybe we didn't even hit her. We must have caught the tree. And I'm okay with that. Just gonna check to make sure there's no blood. I'm okay with that. Don't have to worry about tracking her. Then we just got this one up here, which may have been the same one actually. Tracks are going in the right direction. She could have just ended up there. So yeah, I think we ended up around 35 minutes, and that's that's all right. We'll be able to upload that without too much trouble. I think this was a different moose. It looks like it. Yeah, that's probably the blood track there, and it's going to be a different one. Alright. We'll just go into trophy shot real quick. Nice 153 meter heart shot to end it out. So yeah, I'm not going to do anything special here. We got the solid bison, but yeah. I think that went quite well. We had like 13 kills or something like that. So yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think that was everything I wanted to say. Be sure uh, in the comments if you had a question for the Q&A video that's going to be in the coming weeks. Uh, let me know. Ask whatever you want. Seriously, like, there's no bad questions or whatever. Uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can uh, and the best ones. And with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. See you in the next one.